this is a one of the video tutorials for the course You Got Rhythm and this course is a fantastic course all about rhythm and if you'd like to know more about the course there will be a link in the description. I always think words are inadequate in describing music. Today we're talking about the names in English for music note values, that is music rhythm durations, how long a note is. Now using the English language, there are actually two systems that are used. There are only eight note values. Here's the longest one going to the shortest one. There's only eight that we use. And there are two English systems, I suppose, for naming these notes. And the only reason to learn these names is because when you're in a rehearsal, well, let's just say it's convenient to have some language that describes note values. For instance, in rehearsals, um, you can talk about, you know, play that half note shorter or play it longer or louder or softer. So language, spoken language does have its value. However, why are there two systems? Now, the English, the English English, <laughs> version of the note names are the things like here. So we've got brief, semi-brief, minim, crotchet, quaver, semi-quaver, demi-semi-quaver and hemi-demi-semi-quaver. And they uh, developed uh, from ancient times, ancient times, not really ancient times, but a few hundred years ago. And so that's what their uh, that's where they've come from. In the USA and the Americas, I guess, uh, the English names are based on the quarter note. The quarter note, which looks like this. And it has a bit of a logic to it. Uh, a quarter note is a quarter of a whole note. <laughs> and the whole note is worth four beats or oh, they're worth four quarter notes as you can see here on this guide. I grew up in Australia and learnt this system here, brief, semi-brief, minim, crotchet, quaver, semi-quaver, demi-semi-quaver and hemi-demi-semi-quaver and increasingly People and musicians I work with use the US names. So it's gotten to the stage where I really have had to learn both, learn both English language names, both systems. And look, it's not much of a burden. There's only eight, maximum eight note values. And so maximum uh, 16 altogether that I have to learn. And then of course, if you go to another country that speaks another language, they have a whole, they have their own names for these. So it's handy to use uh, and to know both systems. You'll need to learn both versions of the English names for the note values. During this course, I'll use both names and I'll just flip flop between them. Neither system is totally logical. For instance, breathe, that word means short, but it's the longest note value that we use today. Back before the beginning of the 17th century, the brief was one of the shortest note values. But during standardisation, after 1600, it 
became the longest note value used. Something I find confusing is the 64th note, which is the shortest note value. It has four tails on both the note and the note rest. And it's 1 16th of the reference note, which is the quarter note. It's 1 16th, but it's called a 64th note because it's 1 64th of the whole note, semiquaver. And semi means half. And then the next one is a demi semiquaver. Well, demi means half as well. So it's half of a half of a quaver. And hemi also means half. So you've got half of a half of a half of a quaver.